the purpose of this video is to demonstrate my quick release method for the front canopy uh, studs for the Tron 7 helicopter. The stock method of fastening the uh, studs to the canopy, and I'm using a busted up canopy here for, for, for demonstration purposes, is that uh, so uh, this part is uh, uh, secured to the frame. Then you're supposed to insert the canopy onto the helicopter uh, and then manage to get uh, this part right through the um, uh, rubber grommet here. And th this should hold really well, but if you're really uh, uh, fastidious, uh, you may actually uh, insert uh, one of these uh, uh, metal clips right onto the, the stud. So then you have to get your glasses, uh, figure out what the hole is, insert it in the hole and fiddle with that a little bit, maybe drop it on the ground and then have to get on your knees to, to find it in the grass. And, and then after you do that, then you have to do the other side as well, okay? Uh, I, I, I don't like this method. This is used, uh, uh, Tron uses this method, uh, and, and uh, Excel Power, the Spectre, the, um, uh, a lot of the um, uh, logo helicopters use it, uh, and I hate it. I don't know what to tell you. I don't like it one bit. So I'll show you what I do differently here. I use the Excel Power uh, magnets, uh, this is a part number on several helicopters, not just the uh, Tron uh, 7. And I only use them on, for the front studs, not for the rear, uh, but for the front. Here I show that I use those magnetic mounts on my Tron 5.8 uh, helicopter. And uh, this is what the inside of the canopy looks like uh, with the magnets. This is a Spectre 700 enemy helicopter. And see how I use these uh, uh, magnets. Now you would think that, hey, you know, the Spectre 700, they would come standard with these uh, magnets. No, nope. well, that that may have been true for the for the first generation helicopter, but now with these new ones, they they come with their crappy whatever front canopy stud junk is, all right. But here, uh, so, so you about have to buy these extra, all right, and uh, they they work really well. And here's what the inside of the of the canopy looks like with those uh, uh, magnets, and so this is worth doing on the on the Tron Seven helicopters as well. So what do you need to buy? Easy. The first thing is you have to get a, you know a set of these magnets, all right? Um, so what are the usual places? A Main, Heli Direct, eBay. May may even get them from. I don't know, whatever those uh, AliExpress or whatever China places are, all right? So get a set of these magnets, uh, Excel Power. Then um, you also need um, stand-ups, all right? And these stand-ups, they come in a set of 10. I got these from Amazon, from Oxel stand-ups. They're like M3, meaning that um, the thread inside is uh, M3 threads. Uh, this, But the main thing is this has to be 15 millimeters long. I mean, that's that's just, that's the length that this needs to be. You will also need a set of M3 by 12 millimeter long set screws, as well as a slightly shorter 10 millimeter uh, long uh, set screws. So two and two of these. I already have these two standups uh, made with the uh, set screws I used uh, high uh, strength uh, Loctite, and this uh, green Loctite 648 works really great. It's pretty permanent, uh, even uh, heat doesn't really <laughs> tend to loosen the, these uh, 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 screws. Um, but anyway, I let it sit for about 24 hours, so this is as cured as it is, as it is going to get. Um, so let me show you what I did here, actually, I'm going to make this a little bigger. So this is the shorter uh, M3 by 10 millimeter long uh, screw, and I inserted it uh, five millimeters into the uh, standoff. So I have uh, five millimeters uh, uh, left, okay? And this is the longer M3 by 12. Uh, so I also inserted it uh, five millimeters into the standoff, but uh, it, it, it'll have uh, about seven millimeters uh, uh, left here, okay? So short and long. Uh, 
this uh, short one is what is going to insert into the magnet. Uh, this long one will insert onto the airframe. So two millimeters uh, will be taken up by the uh, carbon fiber uh, uh, frame and then the rest of it will go into the uh, standoff of the airframe. Again, I will insert the uh, short uh, five millimeter um, uh, set screw into the, uh, uh, right onto the uh, uh, XL power uh, magnet. Of course, you know, it'll screw. And then, uh, and I will use uh, just regular Loctite 243. Uh, this doesn't need to be uh, permanent. I don't want it to be permanent just in case uh, I have another crash as it makes it a little easier to remove, although it'll it'll hold really well. And then this uh, seven, meter, seven millimeter long uh, uh, part will insert onto the airframe. Now these magnets are ready to be inserted onto the airframe. And again, these are magnets, so they're, they're gonna repel each other here. Um, so again, I left the uh, seven millimeter long uh, end uh, free to insert onto the airframe. On pages 25 and 26 of the manual, make sure to insert uh, these newly formed uh, front canopy studs instead of the uh, stock uh, canopy uh, studs that uh, the, the manual uh, calls for. For the canopy side, you will need the matching end of the magnet. Uh, and of course, this all comes in the, in the, in the kit, right? You have the um, uh, both ends of the magnet. Uh, and you see how this, uh, whoops, it's a pretty strong neodymium magnets, right? So you will not be able to use uh, this uh, uh, bolt because it's too short. It's only six millimeters uh, long, and you need something that is closer to uh, 10 millimeters uh, long, as you can see here. All right, so this is a uh, M3 uh, thread by 10 millimeter long screw um, uh, a bolt. Um, now I'm using uh, a button head, but uh, certainly a cap head, you know, works uh, just uh, fine for this uh, purpose. You will need to insert the uh, rubber grommet that uh, comes in the kit onto the canopy. And here is the, the extra part that you will need is some sort of a washer. So here I'm actually, uh, a, a, it needs to be three millimeter uh, inner diameter, but the outer diameter needs to be able to clear the, um, I guess a rubber grommet, okay? So it has to be uh, uh, just kind of like a long uh, uh, outer diameter washer. And what I am using here is a, um, uh, a tail blade uh, spacer, all right? Uh, so generally this comes with the uh, uh, tail blades, but you know, any long uh, outer diameter washer you know, should work. So the first thing that we're going to do is insert the rubber grommet onto the canopy. And in the interest of time, guess what? It's uh, already uh, done. <laughs> so I will remove the short screw from the magnet. Uh, so just uh, removing this guy. And it is possible that we may be able to get away with using the washer that comes with the magnet. It is. It should clear the um, uh, the rubber grommet uh, quite a bit. It's possible that it may work. I just feel a little more comfortable uh, getting this uh, uh, kind of a, a larger uh, outer diameter uh, a washer, okay? And that's what uh, we're going to uh, use. Uh, we'll insert the uh, 10 millimeter long uh, M3, um, oops, I guess we're not gonna use this rubber grommet. <laughs> Uh, sorry, um, it's inserted through the this washer. I kind of um, let's see. For the purposes of the video, I will uh, center uh, the magnet onto the um, rubber grommet here, and see as you can see, it's pretty pretty well centered. I mean, it doesn't have to be super perfect. And now I will. Uh, 
insert the uh, screw here and uh, tighten it uh, really, really well. And you will see that the uh, bolt it itself is not going to uh, interfere with the magnetic mechanism. It's, uh, it's, it's long, but not long enough to interfere. And basically, this is done. And of course, when you insert it, please, please, please uh, uh, use uh, Loctite, in this case, a uh, blue 243 Loctite or, or equivalent. The end result will be a canopy uh, that is brand new, not all busted up, and we'll have both uh, uh, magnets uh, inserted, and this was going to work awesome, I can tell you that.